Hello guys, it's the president, and we're going back to the roots with this new let's play of Hard Track Apocalypse Rise of Clans, one of my favorite nostalgic games from 2006. So let's get onto it with single game at experience level. Why? Because rookie is too easy. Experience is hard, professional is almost impossible, and I don't think master is even possible. And plus I wanna have fun. Uh, yep. Well, let's start this game. If you've seen my channel for a longer time, you know that this is my first longer series. And my most watched series. And I'm bringing this back due to the popular demand. This is the sequel to Hard Track Apocalypse. And, but it is also like a standalone game running on the same engine with some improvements. I started filming uh, this game long time ago, only got to one episode and I had to cancel the series due to uh, personal lack of time, so I'm restarting it so it's all fresh. Okay, so that's ass. With this little boy car. I don't see any road signs saying Edmonton 10 kilometers. We'll look for it. I, our boy wants to see it mountain. Okay, in case you don't know anything about this game, it's taking place in post-apocalyptic future in which people are forced to wear those weird things, uh, those masks, which allow them to breathe the air. Also, whoever has a truck and a gun on it basically is able to survive in this burn wasteland. Currently, we are in America, although we previously were in Europe. As you can see, stuff happened here. It doesn't look like it used to look. Same with Europe we've seen in the previous series, which I truly encourage you to watch. Although, you don't have to. This game is standalone. Uh, so, you don't really need to know everything. These are our missions, map, let's go to closer look. Yep, we have to go to Small Apple to do what exactly? Where are our missions? Okay, so this is our statistics. Okay, okay. And the relations. Okay, we don't have time for this now, but there's so many things we're gonna check out. So much lore in this game. Oh boy, who's that? Our first enemy, is it? I think. Okay, let's kill him. Oh man, I haven't played this rushing game in a long time. Nice. So these trucks to follow the, the different crates, which we take, and this is what we got, tobacco. Okay, so that tobacco is a cheap resource in this game, In the previous one it used to be super expensive in Europe. I mean, when we played the game in Europe as our unnamed person, okay. So that's how the cities look like, let's get in, and what do we have here? We have a shop, a bar, and a place where we can repair our car, and that's what we're gonna do. Although we are short on money. Okay, Barman Paco. I welcome you, Vargin. I'm only interested in different ancient artifacts hidden in this region, or I apologize, it seems if I was mistaken. Well, let's click this one. I have some information for you. I don't need travels, I have business in the city, I don't have treasure detector in my vehicle, I think you need to explore one place here, I can mark it on the map if you want of course, yep, if they give me something for free of course, Chief Yankee, the stream of sunlight uh, up my face for many years, I haven't heard the bird song, what thing have you brought you to our land stranger, what a weird guy, uh, hello chief, have you heard anything about Edmonton? A sagacious bird doesn't seek fortune in the outlands. I heard about the city. Do you know anybody who can help me? It will be good to find the map also. Not every map leads to the aim. Not far away from here lives one man called Vi Wise Guy. There are many rumors. R there are rumors that he is an expert in maps, but he doesn't tell anybody about it. Who is this Wise Guy? Where can I find him? Great powers hidden in the knowledge of the past. He lives not far away from here. In the Forsaken House. His name is Jack Noble. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Let me also show you some changes. 
right now in this game we're actually able to make our tracks look different colors. Oh man, I, just so much things to show. I, I'm actually excited for this one. Hey, welcome, me stranger. I see that you are strong and smart enough. Could you help me with diggings? We'll see. Tell me in details what to do. Holy fuel. No, I'm busy enough. Oh man, holy fuel. Uh, there are a lot of treasures in, treasures in these villages. One of them is forbidden books. If you have luck and you find them, I'll make it worthwhile. There is nothing difficult here. You look suspicious. Look for another fool. Well, the first one. Many people died to get this buried treasure. Any local resident will say you that it has somewhere near the pipes plexus. These pipes were explored through the length and breadth, and everything was in vain. You'll see, maybe I have more luck. Okay, so we have many, many missions. First off, we have to take view of the new place. At the mountain city is known as one of the biggest trade centers in North America continent. There are more than 800 shops in there, and very low fuel prices. That was written in the booklet I had. I want to have in the city. I want to live in the city, oh yeah. So the apocalypse happened many years ago, you know, for now, and I don't think that people remember what the previous world looked like, so our main hero basically looked at the booklet and was like, I want to see Edmonton, although Edmonton probably doesn't look the same anymore. Well, to be honest, if you want to know what actually happened in this world, you need to watch the previous Let's Play. I can't... I don't want to really spoil that. Or actually, I will. <laughs> I will spoil that. Skip like 30 seconds if you don't want to hear it. Okay, spoiler alert. Aliens, yeah. Uh, there was an alien spaceship hit down by the by Earth, and once it was got down, there was a weird thing that happened, and basically they are contaminated because of the radiation coming off from that spacecraft. Yeah, that's the story. Okay. No spoilers anymore. It's still good to watch. Okay. We arrived. Cool. So are you the fellow they call Wise Guy? Yes, that's what people call me. Who are you and what do you want? My name is Vagrant. They say you're an expert in all kinds of ancient maps and other astronomies. I need to find out how to get to Edmonton. I've never heard that name. Hey, come on, pack it up. You're a good expert in all those maps. Crack your tank. Crack your you're tank. just supposed to know about Edmonton. How dare you, mister? I owe nothing to anybody. I do not understand maps. I understand playing cards. I'm an expert in the history of gambling. Hmm. Okay, speak wise, guy. It's in Canada. You know it. I hate these awkward poses. Look here, Mr. Pain in the Ass. I don't know what you're talking about, but bear this in mind. I don't care about these games of yours, so either you tell me where Edmonton is, or I'll have to introduce you to my bat. Do you dig me? Oh, man. I see. Well, don't be nervous. If I really don't know where the town of Edmonton is, I can give advice. The maps you need are in the building that they call a library. It's located several hundred meters from here. Why is his mask has a, such a huge nose? That's my I question. swear on my muffler. It seems to me you gave up too fast. I believe they had reasons to call Wise Guy, didn't they? Now tell me what you forgot to warn me against. <laughs> not at all. It's not that I forgot. Plainly, I did not have enough time. The matter is that the library is Sam's property, and it's guarded by his fighters. What, Sam? A local big shot? Yeah, you're right. Except for some minor details. Okay, I'll keep this Sam in mind. Okay, so we are actually in a place called Sam's Place. So that's the territory of the guy. But before we actually go to that place called the Asian Library, we'll actually go to that city again so that we can sell our tobacco and stuff as it is pretty important for us to get some money and have some empty space in our in the back of our car okay let's repair basic stuff and sell our tobacco and fuel 
you can actually use fuel to, uh, you know, refill our car, but I don't think that's necessary right now. Our weapon Hornet is really trash, but I can't buy anything else. But later, you know, we're gonna get new trucks, huge trucks, huge guns. We're probably gonna look uh, like, you know, the Ex Machina, as the game was originally called, the first one. Then the game name, oh boy. Red bug. Okay, he's easy enough. You know, as long as you go around them like really fast, they can't really catch on to you. That's good. Okay, and we gained 55 coins. In the previous game, we didn't get just straight up money from killing uh, tracks, we just get some loot. Okay, so this is the pipe thing. Wise guy was right. Drill his carburetor. This, what do you call it, library is really well guarded. But that's okay. We've taken much worse places. Did we? Okay, we have some turds over there. The bureaucrats. Okay, I'm not going there. Oh shit. Oh shit. Cockroach and bedbug. Easy enemies. The first ones. Nothing hard here. Okay, reload and... Nice. This is the game in which I have so much experience, I'm pretty much sure I can win this game. Easy. Okay, bomb site A that way. I mean, there is a way in which we're supposed to get into the library through the pipes, but I forgot how to get there. Oh, I did complete the mission. It was like. Oh. Landmines? Imagine if they. I just like drove into them. It's been a long time since the last time I played this game. And it was the last time I made it the let's play in which I deleted, which was right after I filmed the last episode of Hard Trick Apocalypse. That was a year ago, and it was my mostly, and still is, my most viewed video with over 2000 views, which is huge for my channel, as I usually don't get more than 20 on my videos. Did I get her first, first try? Holy moly. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Don't tell me. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ora, ora. Well, there's some stuff in the pipe labyrinth over there, which we're gonna check out later because, you know, this little mission with digging. But first, let's just get to the library and kickstart the main story arc. Oh boy, too many bureaucrats. If I'm somehow able to do this, then I have to be a genius or something. Uh, uh, I see. Then Edmonton is somewhere across the Great River in the land of uh, La Canada. <laughs> Like cannon. And how am I expected to cross the river? I see. Uh -huh. There is a bridge, okay. If this here indicates a bridge, of course, I hope it's not collapsed. Because I don't see any other bridges on this map which could bring me to the other side of the Great River. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, so where do we go now? Across here, I guess. I'm afraid of these guys. They don't shoot me, they're green. I really forgot. I think there was supposed to be something happening here. There yeah. had to be. Oh. It looks like a trap. That. Friend, your head is aching, isn't it? Or do you seriously fancy that you could rob me with impunity? And even twice? Twice? I can't recall it even happening once. You got into the library, which I own. And you dare to start on Wise Guy. Wise Guy is my property, too. Oh, man. That's one capitalist. <laughs> Uncle Sam. Drill my carburetor. I somehow failed to notice any signs like Sam's property. 
neither on Wise Guy nor in the library. A charged mine has no inscriptions on it either, but once you step on it and boom, consider me a mine that you've come across. I should shoot you, but you're not worth spending the bullets on. By the way, look where we are. Perhaps the best <laughs> thing is to set you up for gladiatorial fighting so that I could earn money by means of totalizator. They're building of a statue and you're sure I'm going to fight. Don't fight if you don't want to. I can bet on what part of your vehicle will be shot up first. Yeah, we get it. Skip. What if I win? I actually can't skip that, so we have to wait for the pauses. Then, I'll give you 24 hours to get off my territory. Fine. I'll fight. And take my advice. Bet your money on me. You won't regret it. What an impudent guy. At least we're more confident with the first game. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is the Karate Atelier match. And I remember, once you go outside the circle, you basically die because of the guns that are just trying to shoot you. Okay, let's push this truck out of here. Won't be too hard. He's driving there by himself. Huh. Die. Oh yeah. Is he suicidal? Good for me. <laughs> I was wrong. I've rarely seen fighters as skillful as you. You're a born Are you kidding driver. Me? He Why killed himself. If I ask you to join my team. Actually, I want. What to. do you think I needed? Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen to me. You obviously think that you were being offered a job of a fighter in an ordinary gang. If so, you're mistaken. Look around you. I'm the sole owner of the country. You understand that? Yeah, I do. Oh, since you are a master here, you should know where the bridge of the Great River is. I know, but I'm not even thinking of butting into this. The lands of La Canada lie over the bridge. One day I'll get to the riches of the country. But until I do, no one will be allowed to pass by me. Anyone who'll just approach the bridge will be killed on the spot. Anyone who will try to out with me will have a bullet into his fuel tank, understand? Keep it in mind, the bridge is well secured by my men. Yeah, I see. I ask for no particular reason, man. What's the story with this La Canada? And as for the offer to join your team, I agree. Well, fine then. Believe me. He will write to me this choice. And so we became a part of the Sam's army. The guy who lives in the copy of the Statue of Liberty in the middle of US after the apocalypse. If that sounds just a bit appealing for you, stay for the rest of the series as this game does get wild. It's one of those games which I do love personally. Although it's, yeah, it's dated, but still, still really cool. Okay, we are in the big head, and let's go back for that echo of the former civilization. Which is this thing we truly missed in the pipes before. So now the bureaucrats will not shoot us, these are our pillboxes now. Which are extremely strong in this game, as they're basically huge guns. Wait, are we actually moving to connect? Why do you even go there? What's my mission? <laughs> Accomplish first mission for Sam. Well, I'm not really into that. Find ancient books maybe first. It's, oh, it's over there. Well, if I go through the gas stations without actually fighting, because I don't need that right now, I may be able to go for that. You know, ancient books and get some money. And I need cash to improve my truck as fast as possible. Driving in this little thing is a suicide, trust me. Things like the cars in this game get grisly. Ok, 
Okay, that's a lot of money. So I better get these books ASAP. Of course, game has day and night cycle. And if you haven't heard already, this game has an amazing, amazing music. I mean, right now, the track maybe isn't so good, but later, like, the music in this game is top-notch. Uh, I actually uh, remember having the soundtrack for the first game, especially in my phone. Okay, you can't cross through here, and what is this? This is a crate flying in the air. But I get, can't get to it, okay, so we have to drive around. I think this is like this fallen bridge we see we saw when we first arrived at this land. Okay, so we're gonna go around. Nothing hard for me. And everybody, I think everybody in this game tried to go across like all the mountains to see what's there, and it's barely working. Just get to the road when you're playing this game. And if you wanna buy it, it's like two bucks on Steam. And it's many hours of good gameplay, trust me. Like my first RPG was Hard Track Apocalypse. <laughs> Maybe because it was in some like Bergen. Uh, in a Bergen bin? That's how we say it. Oh. Okay, they survived that somehow. I think this place is mined as hell. Oh. Whew, I thought I'm gonna hit that. And if I did, that's a lot of damage. Okay, what do we have here? And by the way, if somebody is watching me who watched my previous series, tell me in the comments. I'm actually really willing to talk with you about this game. As it is pretty nostalgic, although it was years ago, this is like the root of my channel. My channel was initially based on playing Hard Track Apocalypse, believe it or not, although right now I'm playing mostly historical games. And don't worry. This will not affect the historical games at all. This is just, you know, a series that will just run along them. As I don't want to stop playing this thing, this will take us like 15 episodes to complete, I think. Okay, we just get some fuel and machinery. Spares, I mean. What does it give us? Restore track structure? This restores track uh, armor. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. I don't need to restore anything currently. Which is good, which is good. And the books are behind this wall. Not good. And where is the second thing? Maybe it's closer on this side. Oh no, it's a completely different place. Okay. So, I need to go through the pipe somehow. And yeah, this place is a labyrinth, and I was really lucky to go into the first pipe that was going straight to the library at the top. I was really lucky there. I love how speedy this truck is. In Hard Truck Apocalypse, the initial game, the trucks were slow and it was like really not arcade at all. And for many people it's probably hard to get into a Russian old RPG game about truck in Apocalypse in which you are controlling really unmovable truck okay some enemies spawned over there and I can't go through here where am I actually this is like a really bad place to do anything and I if I'm stuck holy moly please no because you can get stuck in this game and pretty bad oh, ha, ha, I'm saved the president did it again boys <laughs> yeah I don't think there's anything here. Another pipe time. Oh. Bear with me. I know how to drive. I won't die. I still have one fuel, so even with my fuel ends, I can just refill it. And this was the bomb side, eh? You're kidding. No, it wasn't. Hm. This pipe is up. I don't think I've been inside of this one. Hopefully it wasn't. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. With this little car, it's really hard to navigate through the trees. See that? Ah. When I click Oh, I can go over an obstacle. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Holy shit, that's like three tr Oh, man. Save, save, save. Huh. I don't know if I'm gonna let through. Oh, yeah, it's behind a wall, of course. 
So currently there are three enemies going after me, but the AI in this game is pretty moronic. It shouldn't be a problem for us. Okay, it's here. We found the books, didn't we? We have completed the mission. These are the forbidden books. You look at that, they were burning it. Hitler style. Okay, this thing is tempting. We Oh man. That was pointless. And these things explode. They weren't trying to kill me. Look at that. Wait. Okay, so I don't want to drive into them, but trust me when I say these are the exploding barrels. Known in the in all video games pretty much. You have exploding barrels. I don't think I'm supposed to go here. Oh, and by the way, there's no fast travel in this game, so if you think that I'm just doing this, you know, for nothing, going into this labyrinth, well, I don't have any choice. Uh, people making this game didn't really think that that would be a good idea. And the game is kind of based on exploring and stuff like that, and actually gaining money through doing little missions and driving around, killing tracks. So I don't think that being able to just skip that would be a good idea. Like, you would die in this universe. This place is harsh. You don't got to your tracks, you don't go with the times, oh man, you're dead. So sometimes it's actually pretty good to trade. Yeah, this game has a trade mechanic. You go from one city and sell the stuff from it to the other one, as they have different prices. There's a whole economy system in this game. It's not complicated, it's easy to abuse, and it's easy to get pretty strong pretty fast. But now, we're all playing. We're the guy who's looking for a mountain. Pretty simple, I never seen anybody wanting to get to Canada so badly. Although I do actually. Especially the French part. Um, I've been pretty I've been to Canada, but I wasn't into French in French Canada. In places like, you know, Montreal or Quebec City. And Montreal especially is one of the cities like Boston which were designed pretty organically when it comes to the uh, road patterns. If this is your cup of coffee then you know that it's something pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's just use this thing. Okay. Oh man, it didn't refuel us at all. I mean, just a little bit. Can I buy a new truck now? I can't buy it here. Okay, let's talk with this guy. Look at me, Virgin. Who? What's the news? In general, nothing new. Okay, so nothing with this guy. But this adventurer. Excellent. These are very same books. I hope you didn't read them otherwise. <laughs> but wait, take it. You have honestly deserved it. The right to own this thing. Thank you. But what is this? This is a treasure detector. For the common people, it's just a toy. But for the hunter, for ancient treasures, it's a unique thing. Excellent. Blow up your tires. Oh. Oof. So I get nothing, didn't I? There's encyclopedia here with, you know, everything, so let's see the special items. Fango, my stick, travel guide, you can read all of it if you want, by the way. Chair detector, yeah. I actually would like you to read all of this thing, this is pretty interesting stuff. The whole encyclopedia thing. So if you wanna pause it, do it. I already read through most of it, to be honest. And yeah, we're going for a van. That's the truck we start in the first game. Okay, I think this... We played for long enough. That w this is the first episode, right? And I think it's going to be coming to an end. I really am excited to start the series. And please tell me in the comments about what you're thinking about it. Subscribe if you want to see more of it, of course. And that's the only way you're going to see my channel. It's not really commented anywhere. And rate the video, you know what to do, what do I have to tell you? That was the president, and see you in the next episode of Hard Track Apocalypse, Rise of Clans. Bye.